So we're getting lots of questions uh, these days as we've had interest rates move up in Canada. So I've had lots of questions from clients uh, about their kids and other people looking to invest in properties. You know, historically, it's been a it's been a good thing to hold hold variable rate mortgage over fixed rate mortgages. And so starting to get a lot of questions about where do you think mortgage rates are going? And so here's the answer to that. And so there's uh, two parts to mortgages, variable rate mortgage, which is based off of what the Bank of Canada does, which everyone follows. And so there's this question now, you've had variable rate mortgages up because the Bank of Canada has talked about raising rates. And so variable rates are up now uh, with the fear that they're going to continue to go up. And I know a lot of the banks have been calling people saying you should lock in. However, locked in rate mortgages are based off of the bank, the bonds that trade in the secondary market. So you've had five-year Canada bonds move up from 60 basis points to 2.6%. And so you've already had fixed rate mortgages move up dramatically. And so rolling from a variable to a fixed rate now, I think is probably the wrong decision, um, but uh, because bond rates have already moved. And so my view is I don't think bonds move dramatically higher from here. So moving from a floating rate to a fixed right now, uh, I think if you're looking anything out past 12 months, isn't going to be the right decision. So I'd be sticking with the shorter end right now, dealing with a little bit of fluctuation in rates. But ultimately, even if you don't believe me, if you look at consensus forecasts in both Canada and the US, they're talking about cutting rates in 2023. And so I'd say sticking with the short end variable gives you the most amount of flexibility and do. And if we see long bonds move down in the future and you want to lock in, that'd be the time to make that decision to change.